so guys uh welcome to rpm channel uh we are working on this ford uh 2008 um it's all wheel drive v6 engine this is a 3.0 um we bought it this car uh three four months ago car was driving fine my mistake when i bought it i didn't check the oil for the transmission and it was really uh oh then it was time to replace it and um i only realized when the car stopped uh running I actually was driving and it stopped uh on a, a traffic light and it didn't move anymore so uh, to do that kind of work um you're gonna need to clean out this area here remove battery air filters uh throttle and all that stuff uh, to make sure that you have an easy access to the transmission uh, over here is the starter uh, sits on and I'm gonna explain to you what I did I'm working on my own garage so um, what I do I got uh, three posts six by six stagger them and then on the frame of the car I put that one over there and one on the other side so your exhaust is clear um, I removed the whole uh, set here, the wheel, um, all the uh, brake disc and uh, brake support. Uh, I'll show it to you what to do. If you decide to work on your own, make sure that you lose the logs for um, your uh, wheel before you put the car on top of the, the post because that will be hard for you to... Um, uh make them loose when it's up over there also make sure this one is loose because this is the center wheel uh bolt and uh the whole assembly only comes off when this is um loose and then imagine if you have the car in a certain position and then you gotta uh, support this and it's really hard to make it that come off if it's not sitting on the ground um, to do that kind of work you're gonna remove brakes for us disc uh, loose the bracket that supports the uh, whole brake system and then you gotta remove your drive shaft also your steering wheel uh, bar and uh, your low lower uh, suspension plate here, the, the low bone joint, I guess that they call it that. And once you have all that stuff out, then you can start loosening uh, the bolts that holds the uh, transmission, and that holds the, also uh, transmission support here. So um, motor mounts or transmission mounts um there's one over there also so i disconnected uh, the, the 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 radiator hose all that stuff before you can see there's some uh anti-freeze there so uh, i'll post another video as part two um i'm working by myself so it's hard to to do um all this work um by yourself you know and also filming um like if i bring to a shop the transmission the car for them to fix it's about two twelve hundred dollars plus parts plus a transmission um so i have the time to do it on my garage i'm gonna see the cheapest way that i can uh, fix this problem as um i move forward i'll post you some videos um about this work I'm just trying to save, you know, I pay like $3,000 for this car and uh, the actual work, if I pay someone could be as much as $3,000 also. So you don't wanna uh, go over budget on this. The car only, a car like this running on a good, good one could be like $5,000 or less. So, you know, um, you pay what you get for, you know. You get for what you're paying is what you get for it. Um, 
so that's how the car is sitting on uh, staggered six by six posts that way you can go underneath the car uh, be safe and not worry about the car uh, dropping on the ground when you are working on this part especially if you buy yourself